common key. Now we need to turn the isolator in the off position. Yeah. Okay, go. Turn it from the off position to both so the batteries charge. And if you want to run the engine, separate isolator key there, goes in there, turns 90 degrees, which turns on the engine battery. When you leave the boat. When you leave the boat, please turn the isolator to position and turn that isolator off and take the key out and put it there. Right, now we need to collect the uh, sound horn. Double deck. Red and a black crocodile clip. Go on the red and the black on the engine battery. Ooh. One connects as so. So, make sure they're secure and give it a test. Once you've done that, it's a good idea to shut the engine cover so you're not tripping over it all day. Right, for the start line, we propose that you face the audible horn down the line so the competitors can hear it. The line will be a line of sight between the main mast on the committee boat and the orange mark that you'll place at the end of the start line. You need to see from this position and undo the cover as so, and then you've got a complete line of sight down the start line. Right, all the flags you need for your day's race officering are stored on this shelf. They can be placed back on this shelf after racing's finished, they'll be in the right place for the next user. Um, these are the ones that we're going to take out and attach to the flare halliards now. Right, the VHF radio automatically comes on when you've uh, switched the battery isolator on. Radio's here, you need to switch it to channel M1, which is 37 on this VHF set. And you use it much the same as the other club microphones and radio sets. The microphone is there. Press to talk there. Call sign. Call sign is CSAFE 4. And there's the switch for the auxiliary outside speaker. The course marks uh, are set here. On the rear of the boat, you set the course for the monoholes and sand hoppers, and that will be a triangular course encompassing an upwind mark and a downwind mark, of which the sand hoppers will only do the upwind and the downwind mark. So you attach the three numbers to the rear of the boat. For the cats and asymmetric boats, there will be four marks which you attach to the front of the boat of which the asymmetric cats will do the upwind and downwind mark only the rest of the cats will do the square course the most important bit is to ensure that you have brought out some fresh milk and perhaps a small bottle of water when you come onto the boat the switch here is the gas switch so make sure you push the gas switch which illuminates this light here then ensure that you have your local commodore who is there ready to make the tea however there is one more switch to turn the gas on placed under the tea towel the solenoid switch needs to be in the down position this turns the gas on and obviously when you leave the boat you turn it back up into the off position and then, there you go, you can make the tea here. All utensils are here. And the tea bags, etc. are underneath in that one under there. <laughs> Please make sure you wash up the cups, etc. Bring out some fresh milk. It's definitely needed. And obviously, if it's the summer, put your wine in here, which is the fridge.